Hey guys, my name is JT Shaver and in this video I'm going to show you how to use automatic focus stacking in Photoshop. Focus stacking lets you increase the sharpness or the depth of field in your macro or close-up photography. So if you've ever taken a close-up photo and there's just a really small sliver that's in focus, focus stacking will allow you to combine multiple pictures where the focal depth is different in each one into one single file where more of the final image is in focus. To take these photos, you need a few things. The first thing is a static scene. If anything in your scene is moving, it won't work. Second is a tripod. If your camera is moving, that's just as bad as if something in your scene is moving. Third, you need a lens with manual focus because you need precision control over the focal depth in each photo. Another tip is to turn off image stabilization because sometimes it can actually cause blurriness when it's on a tripod and you're using a really slow shutter speed. Lastly, you need to use your camera timer. Sometimes when you press down on the shutter with your finger, you shake the camera and that can introduce more blurriness into your photos. So first, focus your camera on the closest point in your scene and take the first photo. Next, rotate your focus ring very slightly so the focal point shifts back in your scene and take a second photo. Continue this process until you have a series of photos where the depth changes in each one, that way we can combine them all later in Photoshop. If you move the focus ring too far between photos, you'll end up with some blurry sections, so make sure to go a little bit at a time. Once you take all your photos, batch edit them with the same settings and then import them into Photoshop. So once you're in Photoshop, come up and click File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And you want to make sure you have Files selected and hit Browse. Select all your files and hit OK. You'll see them all load into the list here and just hit OK. Photoshop will then load all of your images into one Photoshop file, stacked one on top of the other. Next, you want to come click to select the top layer, then scroll to the bottom, and holding shift, click the bottom layer to select all your layers. Then come over and hit Edit, Auto Blend Layers, and make sure you have Stack Images checked, and make sure you have Seamless Tones and Colors deselected. Sometimes that's selected by default, and unless your lighting is changing between each image, it kind of messes things up. So leave it unchecked and hit OK. And this is where all the magic happens. Photoshop will mask each layer, selecting only the sharpest parts of each layer, combining them all into one final image. So here's the final image. You can see that it combined all the exposures really nicely into one final sharp image, where the whole cottage is in focus. So if I scroll up to the top layer and select that, I can right click and disable the layer mask and you can see the original layer and if I re-enable that you can see the final image. So I'll alt click that layer mask so we can see it and you can see that anything is white is what shows in that layer and anything that's black is what's hidden and shows the layers beneath. So if I go through each layer and look at those layer masks you can see that it kind of moves back through the image combining them all into one final sharp photo. That's it for now guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so more people can see it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn next. If you're a New Layer member, you can download the project files for this tutorial at newlayer.com so you can try this process out yourself or of course you can take your own series of images to work with. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>